Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. This is Jack. Jack has a debit card from Gate City Bank. However, it looks like a little night ninja took off with his card, as they sometimes do. <laughs> but lucky for Jack, he can freeze his missing debit card with the tap of his mobile app. And even if his card is stolen or lost for good, he can go to any Gate City Bank location to get a new card issued instantly. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Paul Ralston, Tim Hennessy, and Coach Brad Berry, UND hockey team. First road trip of the season, and you're probably looking forward to getting these guys out of town together, huh? I tell you what, by going on the road, that's a big deal because it melds you a little bit more. And uh, it's going to be a heck of a weekend. I know a lot of people circle this weekend as far as a, a weekend to be in the rinks, and it's going to be an amazing environment. I know our guys are going to be ready to go for sure. Puck on the far side and a big hit there. How about that one? Big hit by Popula. Shot deflection and a goal. Schwartz tipped it up off the crossbar and then UND takes the lead at one to nothing. Back to Jandrick on the right to Gaber. Shoot, score! Gaber with his fourth of the year gives North Dakota a lead again at two to one. Into the middle, shot, score. Head to the near side for Nyes. Nice trying to cut right to the net and he scores. And Minnesota wins it in overtime. Fired ahead across the UND line, the shot, the score. Now back to Blake. Blake shot, score for Gaber. Steps down, puts it in front. Another power play goal. And North Dakota's tied it up at two apiece. Deflected over the top of the net, came back in front, and ricocheted in for a goal. Up top, Moore, a one-time blast save. They score! Coots got that one. Gaber's shot, blocked down front, rebound, they score! Gaber centered out in front, chance jamming at it, and a goal! How about that? North Dakota gets the three on three overtime goal and gets the split in the series with a five to four win. Hockey is a family sport. However, it's rare you get to play with or against your siblings. This weekend, the Ness family gets to do just that. An unbelievable experience, like you said, once in a lifetime. Uh, I've never played with him or against him. Just been like been to a couple of his games. He's been to mine, obviously. So um, this will be the first time we're on the ice uh, like against or with each other. It was just like the most exciting thing for us, I think. I, we kind of knew the game was playing in Las Vegas, and then Tucker actually ended up committing to ASU later. So then we're like, oh, they get to play against each other. <laughs> Growing up with just being so far like apart from each other in age, like it's just kind of ne you never really imagined it, and. Um, them setting up that game with North Dakota obviously just made it that much bigger of a deal for me and me wanting to play here. So i um, very fortunate to be able to end up here and to get to play in this game. I can definitely attest that a bit. I know I had my, my brother as well. We ended up playing on the same team, but I know playing against each other is kind of cool as well. 
Yeah, we've always had a great close relationship, especially with hockey. Like growing up playing mini sticks or whatever in the basement, like I couldn't tell you how many times we've been to the hospital, like with stitches and stuff together, just being so competitive. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take the blame on those um, couple high sticks here and there, but uh, I'm sure he forgot to mention that they go both ways. He sent me to the ER a few times too. They're great friends for sure, but growing up, I mean, they're boys and they sure got their jabs in with each other. I think they each gave each other a few sets of stitches while growing up and yeah, very competitive. That's going to be awesome for his family too. I see both. Uh of their sons playing. Um, I, I got to see what kind of uh, jersey they're going to be wearing. My mom's got a jacket of half Arizona State, half North Dakota. Um, I'm sure my dad's going to wear like either like a hat of one and like a sweatshirt of one. So I'll be sporting both teams for sure and I had a girlfriend make me a really cool flannel that supports both teams as well. So um, and we have a daughter that goes to ASU also and she is Sorry, Griff, but she's 100% going ASU. <laughs> There's a bit of a sibling rivalry with uh, each of them and some of their teammates that they know each other, so I think uh, everybody's a little pumped up for it. I think for him, uh, I don't know if he's going to hit him or not in the game or not, but I definitely would with my brother. Like, if he's in the corner with the puck, I'm, I'm going to hit him. Like, I just got to play the game. There's been a lot of chirps going back and forth about it, so this will be you know, forever bragging rights for life. So this is a pretty big deal for both of us. It's all fun and games, and uh, once it comes to the game time, it's, it's game on, and then after that, then we can go back to being brothers. After an emotional weekend against a fierce rival, North Dakota must quickly shift their focus to Arizona State in the bright lights of Las Vegas. We gotta turn the page pretty quick. Obviously, we, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed the bus ride home. We enjoyed uh, yesterday, Sunday. Take the day, and now it's Monday again. We're back to work and we're focusing on a new opponent. When we uh, go on a destination game, it's, it's business first. You know, obviously uh, our fans are going to be there. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun experiencing Vegas. But uh, you know, we're there. We're there to play hockey. There to win a game, and uh, that's the first priority. I think uh, our schedule here has really helped us out. I know we played a lot of strong teams uh, throughout the start of the season, so I think uh, ASU is another strong team. We got a lot of guys in the portal. Um, they're, they're a better, more improved team than they have been in the past. And they got a lot of skill and um, they're also hard at the same time. So they're, they're going to be a tough opponent for sure. They're a good team. Uh, you know, one of the newer teams uh, to college hockey, but they've made a name for themselves. They're, they're a good program. They got good players there. So, you know, we're definitely expecting their best. Yeah, you know, obviously Nashville is unbelievable and we didn't get the uh, outcome we wanted. So I think this time we just got to be more, maybe a little bit more focused, but we got to be more uh, dialed in on the, the goal at hand and the task at hand while still enjoying uh, Vegas and where we are. We know our fans travel really well. We have the best fans in college hockey. So definitely don't like losing the destination of the games. You take it a little personal um, when you kind of, I guess, let them down in a way and definitely uh, have that in the back of mind that uh, this year we want to get the job done. I'm expecting it to be insane. It's going to be a lot of green, it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to, I, I bet you it's going to be similar to Nashville like last year. It's going to be just a wave of green everywhere, and because we know our fans travel so well. That's going to be crazy. Um, even last week in Minnesota, it was cool too, and pre previously with Quinnipiac, so I think we're used to the big um, arenas, but uh, no, it's going to be something surreal that uh, you just want to witness and embrace and take in as well.